Men's Health Month. I bet you didn't know that June is Men's Health Month. You don't hear too much about it on the news or the media or the social media platforms, but I like to focus on it every single year because we need to make sure that men and boys out there have awareness of some of the different things that might affect just the male species. And we talk about some of these different things. We talk about diseases like cancer, right? Colon cancer, prostate cancer. And prostate cancer is only something that men can get because men are the only people or gender that have prostates, right? We also talk about depression. Did you know that men right now have the highest level of suicide rates out there? It's really crazy. And a lot of men don't really want to take care of themselves. A lot of men are focused on providing for their family, for their loved ones, and they put themselves aside. They don't want to take care of themselves unless it's absolutely necessary. So at that point, we need to make sure that we're focused in and making men and boys out there aware of these different things, even breast cancer. A lot of people think that breast cancer is only for women. That's not true either. Men can get breast cancer. Now women may have a higher rate of breast cancer, but men can still get breast cancer and deal with the aftermath of that. So when we talk about Men's Health Month, let's really get it out there and get the awareness out there. If you're a man or a male, you need to focus on these different things in your health. Be preventative. Make sure you don't break down. You're doing the proper maintenance for your body. So you live a long and healthy and quality of life and you're able to provide for your loved ones like you want to. And when we talk about Men's Health Month, don't forget about blood panels. Titan Medical Center is giving you guys a discount for all the males out there for a full in-depth blood panel. That can tell you a lot of different things. It can tell you where your liver is, where your kidneys are, your blood cell counts, your testosterone levels, progesterone levels, growth hormone levels, B12 levels, your cholesterol levels. We need to take all this into account. You need to know where you're at in all these different things. So you can make educated decisions about what you wanna do with your health. And then you're not just caught in the last inning of the game and say, uh-oh, I didn't know this was gonna happen. And then you're in a, a predicament, right? That you may not be able to get out of. So at that point, make sure you guys are making the awareness for all the males and boys out there. And if you're a woman, you want your husband or boyfriend or fiance to be the best that they could be, right? To be healthy so they could be with you or the father of your child or whoever it may be. It's really, really important. So for June, let's focus on Men's Health Month. Let's make sure all the men and boys out there are aware of these different things that could happen to them and what they could do to prevent these things. Thanks guys, I appreciate it. And enjoy Men's Health Month.